Hello and welcome to another episode of Sneak Peek at the Creek. I'm Mr. McCoob, ordinarily the guy on the other side of that camera, because today our subject is Mr. Fiera. Mr. Fiera is currently the junior class vice principal, and if the Sneak Peek at the Creek video clips are his brainchild, that would make him the brain father. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You have been the vice principal of the junior class for? Uh, this will be almost completion of my second year. And in the two years that you've been the vice principal of this class, what would you say are some of the highlights? Um, well, definitely uh, one highlight that sticks out uh, is the the first day of school when I, uh, I got to meet my junior class when we were in an assembly. And um, I definitely saw a lot of personality in that assembly. And we ended the assembly with uh, a student doing a rap song um, uh, about school, which, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest rap song. Um, you, you need a little work rapping, but uh, it definitely was a highlight. And another one was uh, the junior class in the, uh, the Powderpuff football game almost beating the seniors in that game. I really had a, a good time coaching the, the junior girls in that. They're a lot of fun. Um, and when we beat the seniors in the last pep rally, and we do currently have the ownership to the spirit stick. So the reason that we're talking with Mr. Fiera, trying to drum up some, some fond memories and some, some good highlights here at Timber Creek, is because uh, in a very short amount of time, Mr. Fierro will be leaving us. That's true. Unfortunately, that is true. Um, it is with mixed emotions that uh, I do uh, I do you know have to leave Timber Creek, um, and for good reasons. Uh, I did get a, a, a new position um, that was uh, like a professionally advanced, uh, moving up the the ladder kind of position. Um, I'm going to be the director of guidance and career programs at Lawrence Township School District. So I'm going to be overseeing about seven schools, elementary through high school, um, in their guidance program. So it's kind of a new challenge for me. Uh, I'm excited about it, but at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm very uh, sad to go because of the relationships that I've made here at this school um, and the kids that uh, I've seen grow so much in the, in the short two years that I've been here. And the staff, the staff is just a phenomenal staff, and it's, people say that all schools, oh, we have such a great staff, but it's, it's really true here because this staff is what makes this school, and this staff is a dedicated, hard-working bunch of uh, people, like really a bunch of grinders that really want the kids to do well. And I, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this staff and say that I'm worked at Timber Creek. Absolutely. Now, to wrap this up, yep. I'm going to ask you what your top five favorite moments or memories or events during your time here has been? Top five. It doesn't have to be in any particular order. Just what would you say the top five best moments, memories, things about Timber Creek would be? Um, I really, I really, really enjoyed last year. Um, I was very proud. I was just, I just beamed with, with pride at, in, at our graduation ceremony. Um, it was a beautiful ceremony. It was a beautiful day. Our field looked beautiful. We had um, flowers all around. It was packed with people, and it was just, it was just one of those things that was like per perfection, you know. And I've been to a lot of uh, graduation ceremonies, as as I'm sure you have. And some are good, some are not so good, and some are better than others. And that was probably the best one I've ever been to. I'd like to say that every graduation I've produced has been perfect, but that's not. <laughs> well, that right. was the first one I've seen, so I was I was very impressed. That's neither here nor there. All right, so um, what else you got for us? And uh, another one would be, um, I would say, I loved playing in in the wrestling team's golf outing. Uh, it was a foursome of myself, Mr. Malofsky, Mr. Damalo, and Mr. Saunders, and <laughs> we uh, we played in that in, in that golf outing. We had a really fun time, a good time. Uh, another one would be, mm, let me see, I would definitely say it would have been this class trip I was going to go on, um, but another one is this is this class is the class trip that I took last year with Miss Nardone, which was great. We had a whole bunch of kids go, and we went to um, the Ancora 
hospital. I was supposed to go with you yeah, on that trip. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. It was really interesting, and the kids got a lot out of it, and I just felt like, you know, I was in with a good bunch of kids. And, you know, we were peers, you know. Uh, I, I mean, we were all in that together. I, mean, I, I just felt like I was learning just as much as they were about that. Um, fourth, I would have to say, was my interview. You know, I, I never, I will never forget my interview when I walked in to, to meet with the committee. Um, and I remember I met with Mrs. Robinson, Mr. Saunders, Mr. Malofsky, Mr. Damalo, and um, Mr. Powell. And they were all in, in the committee. And within the first five minutes, I knew that I liked them. Like, I could just tell, like, these are my kind of people. You know what I mean? And, and in interviews, you can tell, you know, sometimes when you're in there, like, okay, um, I, I just don't seem like a good fit. I'm not getting a good vibe. I, I, got, I had a great vibe, you know, and I just felt like I could work with these people and be really happy. And I, I have to say, there wasn't a bad day here. Um, even a bad day was a good day. This is a great place to work. Those are great people. They care about this place. They bleed uh, blue and gray and white. And I'm telling you, this is it's a special kind of place. And to, set, to have Timber Creek as a place that I've worked on my resume is impressive to people when people look at it. So let me see. I got one more, right? One more. Huh. Hmm. There are a lot of good things. Um, huh. I would say, and I would say that powder puff game. I mean, in, in that game, you know, getting ready uh, to go out there with all our uniforms on, everyone with their last name, and, and we would do a little breakdown drill, you know, and the, and the girls would probably uh, remember this, but we would get all in together and get all psyched up, and I would do a breakdown where I'd scream, breakdown, ha, huh! and they'd all go like this, ha, 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 and uh, they got really pumped up, went out, and they scored the first touchdown of the game, and we were winning, and we were winning the first half, we were winning at the end of the third quarter, and in the end, somehow, some way, the seniors came back and won. Seems to always be the case. Um, you know, a couple know. bad penalties out of nowhere. Next thing you know, seniors are ahead. You know, I don't know. One of my favorite memories involving you. Uh, it also involves football. It was the last uh, faculty flag football game where you were one of the officials, and you had this absurd hat. <laughs> It was very cold. I think it was October. <laughs> yeah. And this hat, when I tell you it was just ridiculous, it was this big furry hat with the flaps. He looked like he belonged in Fargo. <laughs> but uh, but it was warm. Watching him run around try to call this game was one of the funnier moments <laughs> of that game. And strangely enough, Bolofsky's team won as well. Oh, I know. So I don't know what's going on with that. That's odd. Seems to always be the case. But... Uh, all questionable calls aside, yes. and what have you, uh, Mr. Fieri, it has been a pleasure these last two yes. years working and I, with you. I, I, I failed to say one final thing was I love producing these sneak uh, peek at the creeks because, number one, you made me look good, no matter how bad I was on my questions. There were a lot of edit outs, by the way, where I completely messed up, and he would you know, somehow make me sound intelligent by editing in certain things. Um, and, and a lot of time, the kids, the kids, you, you, know, you see them in a different light, and and I really enjoyed getting to know the student, the student body that way through this. And, uh, it was a cool thing for the community too. And and I really think it, it's gone over very well. And uh, hopefully it'll continue. You know, if you want, you can take it over. I I belong behind the camera. <laughs> I got a face for radio and a voice for silent pictures. But uh, so this has been sneak peek at the creek. I'm Mr. McCoog. He's Mr. Fiera. He's the man, and we'll be sad to see him go.